Hello everyone, today I'll be explaining level 83 of the back rooms, aka the sunken submarine. This one is amazing, it's a nice watery themed level with a bunch of other cool stuff and some weird eye things. Anyways, I think you're gonna enjoy this video, or at least I hope you do, and if you actually do, thank you for watching. And without any more talking, let's just get into the video, shall we? Backrooms level 83 is the 84th level in the catalog of lore, and it has been given a class 0 safety rating for it being safe and secure, with the presence of passive entities. This is another safe level in the 80s range, which is pretty unique because we've had like three now, but I'll take it when I can get it. Level 83 consists of a sunken nuclear submarine named the USS Ace of Spades. Now, this Ace of Spades is not a real ship. That is just what the name is in the inside of the ship in the back rooms. So we don't know where it comes from, but that's what it's called. And this submarine is in the middle of what appears to be an endless ocean. The part of the level that you'll be inside, of course, is the submarine, though, and the sub itself seems to be sunken in a rocky valley of sorts on the bottom of this ocean. It sits at around 600 meters below the surface, which is just around 1,970 feet. And the reason we do know how deep this sub is is because there's a bathometer inside of the control room that says how deep it is. However, the sub's other controls, like the steering and throttle and everything, that they don't work at all. They're non-functional. So you just can't drive it around, which sucks, but yes, that would be awesome, I know. All the appliances, however, inside the vessel work as they should. So lights and kitchen appliances and such, they all work. The level, of course, is very cramped, as you would expect for the inside of a submarine to be. The ceilings are low, the halls are skinny, and of course, they're almost 2,000 feet underwater, just to add to it. So if you struggle with claustrophobia, I don't think this level will be for you, but if you like a cozy little environment, you might like it here. There are several different areas inside of the sub that you could explore, like the sleeping areas, the control rooms, the hallways, the kitchens, and things like that. All of these areas smell clean but old and almost like metal. It kind of feels like you're in the middle of a tin can. The nuclear reactor that controlled this vessel at one point seems to be fully operational still, even though its hull is worn down on the outside. Walking through the submarine, you'll notice a few different things, like refrigerators with bottled water, as well as food in the kitchen, like sandwiches and pasta and veggies and fruits and eggs and various things like that. These foods are all edible, and they can be cooked using the submarine's stove and butter and everything like that. The cool thing about this stuff is that the level has a strange effect. Whenever something is taken away from the fridge, it will automatically restock itself, which means that this level is essentially an infinite supply of food and water. When you no clip into the submarine, the first place you'll be at is inside of the sleeping quarters. This is where you're gonna find several empty mattresses that you could take a fat nap on and relax on. There's also a few small tables and chairs in the same area, and the bunks totally could hold 140 wanderers at the same time, which means it's actually possible you might run into another person while exploring the level. A lot of other backrooms levels have this weird enigmatic feature where you just can't see anyone, but not here. You can run into people here. If you are wondering what specific type of submarine this sub is, its layout is identical to that of a Los Angeles class submarine, which is a specific design from real life. There's only one small exception though, and that's the fact that there are observatory windows on the outside of the sub that look directly to the outside of the ocean. If there's no sub in real life, it's gonna have windows on the side. Obviously, that is a structural integrity issue, but that's what this sub is, and this sub has it. Looking from these windows, you'll see the blue oceanic expanse, and and if you're lucky enough, you might see a new fish or a squid or something like that swimming by. But what lies beyond that and beyond the sub cannot be explored, meaning that the ocean itself literally has never been looked into. We don't know what's there. We never will. We can basically only guess that it expands out forever. There's also a theory that the sub is located somewhere in level 7, since that's a common place to no clip to when you leave here, but that's just a theory. Alongside the fish you can see here, other strange flashes of movement have been noticed looking out the windows of the submarine. Unnerving, black, skinny shadows have been seen flying past the windows, or trying to look through the windows. Nothing else of note has been documented outside though, so that's all you should worry about. Inside the cramped, quiet corners of the submarine, several personal items have been found that kind of spice things up and make this entire level more interesting. 
A bunch of crumbled up notes, sticky notes specifically, have been found taped to various appliances. Each of the notes depicts a horribly drawn image of a girl that's kind of like a stick figure with a blue suit on, a purple hat, and an eye patch. Now the girl is drawn in pirate poses and there's pirate sayings written on the post-it notes, like R and stuff like that, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Each of the drawings are signed by somebody named Kira, and one of the notes Kira left says the following. Playing pirate is boring now. I'm gonna go make a jungle or something. Might come back, but for now, just take the sub. I'm not gonna use it anymore. Have fun with it, I guess, you big-eyed weirdo. So, that's quite strange. What a weird thing to write down. But other than the notes, and the food restocking itself, and the fact that you're inside of a submarine in the back rooms, nothing else is weird here. Just an empty submarine. Except what's on the outside of the sub, that's not normal. And I'm referring to whatever is dashing past these windows outside. An entity known as the Great Observer is the creature that is responsible for these weird dashings. This is an entity that takes the appearance of a colossal squid, yet it is estimated to be two times the size of a colossal squid, which is massive if you didn't know. If you look out the window from anywhere in the sub, you'll likely see the observer swimming outside, and it's so large that just by it swimming around, it'll shake the submarine and kind of have it bend and creak from the currents it makes. The observer's also been known to touch its tentacles to the outside of the sub and kind of shake it around, almost like shaking up a can. The main thing the observer does, and where it gets its name from, is that it seemingly enjoys pressing its massive 20 plus inch long eye against the windows of the sub and trying to look in at you and watch you, which could be very scary. Like imagine you're just waking up in the bunk room and you look out the window and you got this massive eye staring at you. But just staring into the eye of the observer can fill a wanderer with terror because it, it seems unnatural. It seems otherworldly. It, it feels like something you should not watch. The good news is the observer does just observe. There's no attacks that have been documented, but it can still be very scary to see if you look into the eye and stare too long. You kind of get dizzy, nauseated, and you just feel weird. Inside the sub, there is one outpost that lives here, and it is the crew of the USS Ace of Spades. And it varies in size from like 20 to 100 people, depending on the sub time of year and stuff. Uh, they're cool, they're passive, and they allow you to eat their food, and they, they just like living here. <laughs> Seem like a cool group of people, I guess. But to enter the sub, you can only be on level 7, and then you gotta dive down to the point where the light goes away, and then the pressure starts to build up, and you'll eventually just wake up in the submarine. Inside of a bed, actually. But to exit, you're gonna have to find the escape hatch of the sub, undo it, and then swim out into the ocean. Now, you can't really go very far, because you can't hold your breath that long, unless you're Aquaman, but you just swim out as far as you can, and then you hopefully will get sent back to the surface of level 7. Now this could get pretty dangerous if you don't do it right, so accept the exit at your own risk. So yeah, that was level 83, a little submarine level, nice. That's it for the video, thank you for watching uh, to the end of the video. If you really enjoyed it, leave a like, it would help me out, and comment below what other levels I should go over, and also check the description while you're down there for the links I have to my other channels, my Twitter, my Instagram, all that stuff. I don't have anything else to say here. Hopefully you have a great day. Tell somebody you love them, and without further ado, I'm gonna end off the video here. Bye-bye.